Good afternoon, ladies, and welcome back to Thankful Thriftiness. First of all, yeah, let's tackle the elephant in the room. What do y'all think about this lighting? I was actually working on a setup for a wedding tomorrow, and so while I was in the middle of that, I was like, well, I'm about to film, so I might as well just leave the light up. But do you like it better like this or like this? Okay, now this just throws off the white balance in the room and makes my hair look extra frizzy, so let's not do that. So now that I've tackled the elephant in the room, let's get started on today's video, which is fall cleaning. I'm not doing like a whole house fall cleaning today, but I do want to share with you five things to clean in your house this fall. You could tackle these one day at a time, or you could tackle these uh, all in one day. They're not chores that take a super long time. A couple of them are longer than others, but these are things you definitely want to get done before winter comes because it's harder to clean really gross things when winter time comes around. Number one. Focus on my hand. Thank you. Number one, cleaning out your car or cars, depending upon how many cars you have. My husband has the other car at work, so I can easily get out of cleaning that one, at least for now. I am the worst when it comes to procrastinating on cleaning out my car because I really don't like doing it. But today I'm just gonna suck it up like a big girl and do it. And you should too. It honestly doesn't take as long as I think it does when I just do it and stop procrastinating. For my car, I'm going to vacuum. Wipe down all the surfaces and clean the windows. And declutter, because there might be a few things in here that shouldn't be in here. Number two, cleaning out shoe mats and welcome mats. They can get so gross, because literally, like all throughout the summer and winter, you're wiping your mud off your, yeah, your mud. The mud doesn't belong to you. You're wiping the mud off your shoes as you come in and out of the house. So why don't I clean it more often? Great question. But today, we're just gonna do it and try to forget the past. There are probably so many bugs brought in just via our shoes and a lot of germs. So it's hard to keep your shoes clean, but at least let's keep the mats clean. I'm gonna clean off the shoe mat with a brush and some soapy water and the welcome mats I'm just gonna shake out for now and maybe hose down. Number three, which is cleaning out laundry bins. I have never cleaned mine out before. I can assume you have, and I hope you have. If you've not, let's pretend it never happened and we can just go clean them out for the first time today. Think about it. We keep dirty clothes in there before we clean our clothes as well as clean clothes. So it's not like there's only clean stuff touching them. And let's be honest, we don't really want to know what all goes into the laundry bins before they're clean. Number four, cleaning out my garbage bins. I mean, the big ones that are outside that I take to the curb every week. I hate this chore. Like, this is at the top of my list of least favorite chores. It is so disgusting. And these things smell like something died in them. So I'm probably gonna have to scrub it out and get inside and I am just scared of what I'm gonna find. But I'm gonna do it because it needs to get done. So I'd greatly appreciate if I knew somebody else was suffering with me. Let me know in the comments below, did you do this with me? Number five, which is trimming down plants. I will give them more of a where did that mosquito come from? <laughs> He's dead now. 
I will do more of a thorough trimming of these plants later in the season when they're more thoroughly dead. But for right now, I'll just get rid of a lot of the dead foliage and I'll cut them more down to the bare bones later. Thank you so much for watching this, ladies. I hope this inspires and motivates you to clean a few of the things you may not want to <laughs> this fall, but you'll be so glad that you did because once you're done, it'll be over. And then you don't have to do it until next season or depending upon the item, even next fall. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to this channel if you're not already for more fabulous content like this. Have a wonderful rest of your day and happy fall cleaning.